Hello everybody, it's been a long time since I've made a video, I've kind of been busy, um, but I'm going to be testing Immunet Protect today, which is a free, or you can upgrade to a, a paid version if you want, um, and I'm, I'm going to be testing it. Um, this review is kind of for entertainment purpose only, as with all my reviews, although I haven't pointed it out, and just about every review on YouTube, because... There is no way you can actually test an antivirus with 10 links. To really test an antivirus, you need over 100, and you need to test those same 100 links on every type of antivirus to actually compare them. So I'm just going to do this, and we're going to see how it does for fun. So it's a small little installer. It's only 108 kilobytes. Um, so I guess it downloads the installers, it says here. And here we go. So I don't have a license key for Immunit Protect Plus. So I am going to go for the free. And it installs pretty quickly. We will finish. I don't need to run a flash scan. Let's see. We've got this little icon down here. Open that up. So, by registering with Immunet, you can share Immunet Protect for free and prevent viruses from hurting your most important friends and social contacts. I am not going to register now um, now I'll register just to help them out so I'll be right back alright so we got I registered and we got this little um, interface here that tells me about CPU usage and the memory usage um, it tells me that it's the current version it's telling me that it's annoyed that I have not scanned let's just see what the scanner looks like um, so you can only scan for rootkits on the plus version, which is a big downside. We'll just see what the flash scan looks like. So it runs through really quickly. We'll stop that. And um, it tells you you're connected to the community. And the way this is a cloud antivirus. So this, this uh, works by getting database information from other users on the internet uh, so it's not something that constantly downloads signature updates from a company uh, like Panda Cloud, you probably heard of that. So we are going to go ahead and test my 10 links against this just for curiosity's sake to see what happens when we show it some nasties. I just made sure all these links worked, so I'm hoping that they still work. All right. So, it detected a Trojan, and it successfully quarantined that. So that's one out of two so far. And we'll run this. Nothing out of that one. So that's one out of three now that we've gotten with Immunet. All right. There we go. And I'm not seeing anything popping up for that one either. Run this one. These are all Trojans and, and similar stuff like that. 
Not seeing anything popping up there. Oh, it got something. And not getting anything for that one. So, so far, two out of a lot. Two out of a lot. I'm hoping that it's not going to be at 2 out of 10. Okay, that one crashed. I don't know if for some reason that's due to Immunet, but I don't see anything popping up. So, I'm going to say that one just failed on its own. And again, I do not see anything. Oh, Windows Firewall. I don't know if this is fake. I suspect it might be real. But it's blocking Windows Explorer. Uh, that means some weird things have gone on. Yeah, this system is absolutely coming to a crawl. Um, everything is literally crashing. Yeah, it's completely locked up. Let me give it a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, this is so locked up that I have no choice but to um, reset the virtual machine, which is like holding the power button um, on your real computer. So we'll see if this even boots up now. I mean, that was completely locked up. I mean, everything was not not working at all. Um, so we will see if this boots up. Uh, we already got something else running here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ooh, clean sweeper. We're gonna have some funny stuff popping up here, I think. And again, get in the hourglass. It appears that we are a little locked up here. Uh, I'd love to open Immunet, see if we could run a scan. See if it picked up anything now. But this is really locked up. So I'll be right back in a second. Alright, this is completely locked up. Uh, I can't get Immunet to open. Um, so, in my test scenario, as a self... To, as a as a standalone program to protect the computer, the at least the free version, it completely failed to protect the computer, um, because it let on um, two out of nine. It only blocked two out of nine, which is horrible. But I do want to show you that um, Immunet says that this is designed to work along with other antivirus programs uh, so it's light it's not overlapping protection it's not going to cause conflicts at least so they say and on their website they have a list of supported products so basically every well-known product can work along with this um, and this is so light I can't show you uh, how light it is but I can tell you that this is extremely light and it doesn't have an effect on the performance of a computer. So if you do want a little extra something that might or might not do something to help your computer, uh, Immunet is a decent solution, but I would not use it uh, as your antivirus. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.